You used to call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on my cell phone Hey, what's up everybody? Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family Driving into the chaos with my cousin here Alex, say hi Alex How's it going? He's not gonna look at the camera. I really can't because his driving. life is in my hand. Just had Thanksgiving dinner at my house. And then this fool over here went to my house and then he texted me, I'm heading home. Thanks for the invite though. And I was like, wait, what? And then he goes, there's no parking. And I was like, what? Did you, you didn't even explain to me the re like you called me on the phone, but you didn't answer why. You didn't answer why. You didn't. You didn't say why. Like you. You went on the phone, but you didn't say anything. All right. Talk about her. We are here. It's not too crazy yet. Wait, are you sure? No open seven. I mean, whatever. Let's Texas. See. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's cars. There's cars here. All right. So we are here. Look, they they had put bathrooms here. They didn't have bathrooms before. Where's the bathroom? Oh yeah. shit. There's two years ago. Two. No, three years ago. Me and my friends came out here, and oh, for a fries. Um. Yeah, no, they like double parked. Dick. Dick. Um, my friends came out and Let's go, man. we had to use the bathroom. There's one right next to this tree. No, I'm not parking. That's no, no um, cards, bro. I'm trying to find a parking spot. Um, and we had to pee, and I went to pee on this building, this Leslie Pools. There we go. Right. Pools. It's like a this jacuzzi point. place. And then a cop came up as I was peeing and asked me, "What the hell are you doing?" I was like, "I need to pee," and then he just let me off. All right, we're gonna go inside. So we're gonna go here and do this craziness. I can't, still can't see my sweater. It's that. You sing that song? You Good. used to call me on the cell uh, phone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to get a feel for you, huh? Cousins checking out his new phone. Does it fit me, D? Does it fit me? It fits you better than that STI. <laughs> <laughs> inside joke, inside joke. Videotaping and videotaping. Look, I could, I, could change, I could change the white balance to make it just right. You know, all these little manual controls, there's, it's got a bi-directional bi um, uh, microphone, so I can isolate where the sound's coming from, which yeah, speaker I want it to go crazy. to. crazy. What's even crazier is how crazy it is in here. This is Thursday, man, this is Thursday. I got what I came for, I'm getting my sister a gift. Um, looks looks premium, like, right? Feels premium. Yeah, it does. Uh... I'm heading over to Target. Gonna pick up some stuff for Christmas gifts for my friends and family. And then I'm gonna head over to the gym, get my workout on on this Black Friday. So while everybody's doing their shopping, I'm getting my gains. I'm getting my muscles. But uh, yeah. So I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving. I hope you actually took the time to spend time with your family because that's the most important thing. I feel like. Spending time with your friends and family is the most important thing in life. You can, you can have all the money in the world. All the cars, big houses, everything. You can have all that and not have a family and you still won't be happy. I feel like, for me, personally, I am most happy, and I tell this to everybody, I am most happy when my friends or my, and my family are happy and where they're content. I will take that over the money, the job, the, I'll take that over anything. Because, I don't know, I feel accomplished. I feel content. I feel like, I just feel happy. So, I mean, I, the whole, the whole thing of like, um, minimizing the meaning of Thanksgiving by opening up these stores early, it's kind of it makes me a little bit sad only because like especially I have a cousin that works at uh, he works retail and he barely got to spend time Thanksgiving with his family and his family had uh, drove in from you know hours away sometimes three hours four hours away and he had to cut his uh, time short with him because he had to work I don't know it, it just doesn't make any sense to me now I know people want to make that extra dollar, but it's just Good morning, YouTube! We are on our way to pick up 
our friend James. I got my cousin here. You remember him from the Black Friday shopping. And we're going to Frankenstein's and, um, what is it? What is the other place called? The LA Auto Show. LA Auto Show. Um, and we're listening to some Adele right now. Anyways, so we're on, we're driving on the freeway, so I better turn this off. Later! We're here at Frankenstein's. We're gonna check out some nerds that don't wear deodorant and I'll point them out to you and I will videotape their faces so they know that they are smelly people. They smell like shit. They need to be out buy deodorant. Next time we go to convention I'm gonna have a bag full of deodorant and I'm just gonna pass it out. Every time I pass by someone that doesn't have deodorant. Well, the deodorant spray. <laughs> yes. I'll just spray them with deodorant. These are the ones that uh, what you guys looking at? There's like 40 points. What you guys looking at? <laughs> Smelly section. Smell, 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 smells. Um, uh, what do you call these things? Mystery boxes? Mystery ones. Mystery boxes. How much for the billy? Amiibos. Hey, hey, hey. Woo. We're here at the LA Auto <laughs> Show. Look at this craziness right here. Oh, 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 oh. I can't see anything. All these cars over here. Look what they got in there. What are they watching in there? I have no idea, but it's like... I mean, um, Battleship. Mm. All these cars over here. It's crazy. Whoa. Pretty legit. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh. Look at that over there. Future car right here. Uh, all right, the moment you've all been waiting for. No more of my terrible jokes. The winner of the Scion Tuner Challenge. <laughs> drum roll. Is there a drum roll thing? We're like a NPC, can we get gunshots? No? All right. Mark and This is uh, back to the future inspired Toyota Mirai. There's inside. Exactly like a DeLorean. A simple science experiment that we've been doing. Nobody wants a Hyundai. Exactly within your scope. Oh. The future is here. That, that is 
not the future. Those look like little dildos. Oh, here we go into the sexiness. Yep, let's do it. That's it for this vlog, so didn't get to film too much in Frankenstein's only because so much going on in there. Filmed a little bit at the LA show, LA Auto Show. Uh, I was supposed to go to um, uh, Emo Night in LA, but the line was just way too long. And uh, we didn't have tickets, so we weren't going to get in, so I headed home. It would have been pretty cool to see uh, Dashboard Confessionals. They were my favorite band growing up. But yeah, um, that's the end of November. Um, it's actually December now, so we'll see what December holds. Uh, probably in my next vlog tomorrow, I'm going to go check out the food trucks, so that'll be fun. And uh, work out before then. I wish I could film in the gym, it's just they don't allow you to. And I bought a new, like, body fat scale, so I'm gonna try to get my body fat percentage down. Got a big wedding coming in April for two of my friends. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed all these rants and everything about Thanksgiving. Hope you guys did have fun spending time with your family. And, well, that's it. Well, happy holidays to all of you. Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, um... Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating. Remember to celebrate with your family, your friends, because it's the most important thing in life. Um, be careful on the road, and uh, don't take anything for granted. Uh, last week, during Thanksgiving, there was a shooting over at Planned Parenthood. A bunch of innocent people got shot, and that was pretty sad. And today, there is a shooting in uh, San Bernardino. There are at least 20 people injured. I don't know how many deaths, but... I mean, they haven't really released too many details. But it's just crazy thinking... One of these days, you can just be out and about, going about your business, and you could just be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And... You never know what could happen, you know? So it's... I think it's important for you to tell the people you love that you love them because you never know what's going to happen. It's I'm not trying to jinx anybody or trying to say anything. I'm just saying life is short, you know? It's not... You, you can't prepare for these kind of things. There are some sick people out there that... They feel like they're at the end of the at the ro of the rope, and they feel like there's nothing left for them, or they feel like they believe something so strongly that killing people is the way to go, and it's not. It's sad. It's scary. I mean, kids are getting shot up in school. Little kids in elementary schools are getting shot up. People are just dying. It's the scariest thing. So remember, this holiday season, spend time with your family. And be sure to always tell them that you love them. Tell your friends, your family, your loved ones that you love them. Alright. Enough of my rants today. So, I'll see you guys in December.